You have made a serious mistake. Not as serious as yours, my bear. Bane. That's a lovely, lovely voice. Well, really? People always say it's really hard to understand it's a little too much. A little too, uh, like, gargly marbles. You know what I'm saying? I know how you feel. I have a thick oxen and I wear a mask. I didn't get everything you said, but I really like your accent. And I really love your voice. Wow, really? No, I'm just breaking your back. Wait, what? Oh. Let the games begin! Love you, kids. It's time for you. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Dark Knight Rises Hot Toys Bane one six scale collectible movie masterpiece for you. Here we got the packaging for Bane and the new Dark Knight Rises Hot Toys packaging. The first, that's not a DX figure. Um, you can see it has the uh, Batman symbol right there with a nice picture of Bane from the promo art with a big a white, the Dark Knight Rises leather says Bane, right there, one six scale collectible figure, a DC Comics Hot Toys movie masterpiece. The design of the box is kind of like a shoe box, uh, even uh, my girlfriend Raquel knows it says Dark Knight Rises MMS183. Well, the other side continues that uh, same promo art on there. On the back here it has uh, all the credits for all the designers, all the people that made the figure. Uh, it has a warning, warning, you want to choke on your bed? When you open up the box, you can see it reveals a nice little cardboard inlay that says, let the games begin. And then when you pull that down, you got a Bane in the, his clear plastic tray showing off all his accessories and everything. Let's see how insane this figure is in a Bane. And here we got the Dark Knight Rises Hot Toys Bane. This is Hot Toys Reckoning. Holy crap, it is insane of how amazing this Bane is. Let's take a closer look at him. The head sculpt on this guy is truly amazing. Not only is the mass ultra like, like the paint apps and everything so realistic, the head sculpt too, it definitely looks like Tom Hardy without a doubt. This definitely would have been cool if they made like a DX version with the purrs, which I don't know, maybe they might one day, but um, yeah, and like I love how the mask is. It's like super tiny on his head. You can even see like he's got the scarring that he actually has in the movie. And like, you know, it's like so ultra realistic. And even has on the back here that scar that you see on the back. That I wish they explained that more. But you know, Bane's what what was like beat up by all those prisoners. So probably that's so what explains it. And the vest here looks so nice. So freaking cool, all the straps and everything is just ultra amazing. The arms, um, like this is the muscular body um, that has some rubberized, you know, for Bane's. So uh, it is removable, but and it shows on the instructions how to do it, but it's a lot of tying all these straps, which I don't want to do that right now, but yeah. <laughs> but the arms, some people say, oh yeah, he could have been a little bit more muscular, but I watched the movie Playing Times, and Tom Hardy, he's in shape, but he's not like super, super big. That's more on Tom Hardy's part. Like, he, he's not like where he's like super like, I don't know, like uh, like He-Man kind of type of muscles. It just, yeah, it, so this body makes sense. I don't think he's not, I, I don't think he's too skinny at all. And I love the gauntlet here. So it, the the cool little I don't know what this like belt thing and then he has his combat cargo pants with the straps I think you could open them up but yeah you could but yeah they're yeah they they actually work in here that's pretty cool really like that on the Hot Toys part boots are very nice really amazing detail on the boots you know you got the the faux laces which are really awesome. Yeah, just the detail on this guy is just insane. Articulation, Bane's head can fully rotate. It can only go up and down a little bit because of the rubberized neck. You have to be very careful, it says in instructions, but can't move up and down. You just don't want to be careful to, to really break it. So, But his arms fully rotate. Um, they do go in and out that much, which is uh, pretty good. They bend at the elbow and rotate. Uh, there's no biceps hole because they were trying to make it, you know, 
um, you know, trying to make it look more of a clean look. And it would have been great if it had double jointed elbows because he does all the holding his like straps and stuff. So that's only one bad thing. But I think if you put the a, a new body on it, uh, like made a custom bang with that double jointed body to do that with the coat, I think it works. But for showing off his arms, I think it's fine. Anyway, his wrist fully rotating going out. He does have waist articulation that fully rotates um, and well, well it's the chest that goes forward and back and waist goes forward and back so he has good joints right there. Legs go forward and back, in and out, rotated apart of the leg, bends at two points at the knee and his boots fully rotate and because they're a little bit tight they don't really have a pivot but they do rotate and stuff so and the boots are good enough where he can do some dynamic poses so really good articulation on this. Bang comes with a few accessories. He comes with instructions on how to take off his vest and a sash and his interchangeable right fist and his different looks and uh, tells you how to uh, rotate his head. He comes with a total of six hands, uh, two open palm hands, you know nice detail on them. He comes with like hands I guess like just regular holding like if you want to hold the cow broken cow comes with and two fist of hands wish he came with a few more hands especially ones that make it a little bit easier to hold the cow and he comes with an extra wrist peg comes with an extra gauntlet which um, you actually use it for your um open palm hand you would just actually kind of slip it in here and then you kind of like use it to peg in so that looks uh really cool i do like that he comes with his sweatshirt that he wore at the final battle with him and batman um in city hall uh you would have to remove uh the vest here like i said it's quite a process i don't want to really show it unless like until i get my extra one to really do the look but yeah, you would just take off the vest, put this on, and then put the vest over it. Unless you want to have just simply put this over the vest. But yeah, it's very nice material. He comes with his like bomber jacket, leather jacket that's very nice with the faux fur. This thing is absolutely amazing. It's a very nice coat. I always liked it. You know, his look when he's wearing this coat. It's so sweet and uh, easy to put on him. Once you get on there, he looks awesome with his coat. So awesome. Really love this coat a lot. Bane comes with the broken cowl of Batman that he took off of him in the, the big first confrontation fight. Looks really cool. I really like it a lot. It even has some kind of like water look like uh, yeah like it was uh, drenched in water like in the scene. And finally Bane comes with this really nice uh, Hot Toys stand. says Bane like almost like a DX logo. It has the Batman symbol. It looks like the balcony. Um, uh, they were fighting on and it has the adjustable cradle. And you betrayed us. You were excommunicated by a gang of psychopaths. I am the League of Shadows and I'm here to fulfill my good destiny. No, no, stop. You can't do this. I'm mad. You can't stop. No, you're a monster. Stop it. No, 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 no. I was wondering what was going to break first. Your voice or your magic? <gasps> and your voice doesn't sound like the Cookie Monster? Then you have my permission to die. Size comparison time. So here you can see Hot Toys Bane is in good scale with other Hot Toys uh, Dark Knight um, Rises figures. You can see he is a little bit taller than the DX01 um, Joker, but yet a little bit smaller if you count Batman's ears than Batman himself. Now Bane is an iconic villain that Tom Hardy's performance, even though he doesn't look like the traditional comic Bane, as much as <coughs> Joel Schumacher's uh, Bane look more like it. Um, I absolutely love um, the look of Bane from The Dark Knight Rises, um, the more Nolan-esque realistic look of him, and Hot Toys nailed um, the likeness of this figure to a T. I love how the head sculpt is absolutely amazing. The, the outfit is amazing. Um, I'm happy with the articulation. I do wish he did have double jointed elbows, kind of like what they did with the DX10 um, T800, where um, it still was able to be muscular but have double joints. So like I said, you could, if you want to have him win his coat and have him do the whole holding a strap swagger thing, I would say maybe get like one of those custom muscular double jointed bodies and just have them like you know um, like with the coat on like that's one way you can do it I know it kind of sucks to have to do that because you have to put the whole outfit on them but I mean that's one way around it uh, but even with that uh, the articulation is still really good he comes with a good amount of accessories maybe it would have been cool if he came with a couple more outfits like the one when he's uh, 
uh, robbing like the Wall Street like uh, place or when he's um, you know like on the airplane maybe that would be cool but still everything you get with it I'm really happy with and he was only a like a hundred uh like 70 bucks at uh, alter ego comics like 170 and 80 so i think that's a really good especially with the rising prices in one six scale figures especially with hot toys like i said um he's not doesn't have the most accessories and yeah i wish he had double joint elbows but i absolutely love this figure and i highly recommend it for more geek news reviews podcasts and more go to bkbn.net i'm sean long member celebrate your home in a big way where does he get those wonderful toys he gets them at alter ego comics excuse me he was saying he gets them at alter ego comics.com <laughs> for the latest in hot toys sideshow collectibles replicas and more visit alter ego comics.com they take paypal pre-ordered and they lowest prices on the net lowest price for hot toys you must be joking do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKB and not that! Go to BKB and not that! Go to BKB and not that! I tell you to go! Go now! So, you came back to die with your setting? No, I came back to stop you. But you can't stop me, Bruce. <laughs> What? Oh, uh, why do you keep doing that? Do you know what my favorite TV show is, Batman? What is it? Breaking Bat. You're insane in a 